Hey, it's Erica, the sneaker agent. And when it comes to leaders in the Hampton Roads real estate industry for, say, the past 30 years, there are few who can compare to the two pros I got a chance to sit down with very recently. Greg Garrett, the owner of Garrett Realty Partners, and Chuck Dunlop, who serves as principal broker and corporate trainer. Between the two of these individuals, they have more than six years of experience of doing real estate right here in the 757. All right, Greg Garrett got in the real estate business at 19 years old, became the number one agent in the marketplace by the time I was 25. Got excited, opened up my own company at 26, and now we got 150, 60 of us that are doing phenomenal things, and my life and time in real estate is really about empowering others and helping people to get where they want to go and fulfill their dreams through the real estate business. Hey, I'm, I'm Chuck Dunlap. I am, um, I've been in the business a little over 31 years. Mm -hmm. I retired from the Air Force in 1991, met Greg at a, uh, at a job fair the year before and went, went there ever since. As you can imagine, I had a hundred questions that I could have asked them, but I settled on a few that I will be sharing with you episodically. The very first question I posed to these two pros was, in your own words, in your own opinion, based on your experience, what is the status of the Hampton Roads market? Here's what they had to say. Uh, interest rates have doubled in the last few months, which is having a definitely an impact on the market here. Uh, but at the same time, the market is gonna stabilize. When I got the real estate business, the interest rates were 8%. Immediately before I sold my first house, like in two weeks, they went to eight and a half, and they climbed from eight and a half to 17 and a half. So interest rates being at six is not a bad thing, unless you're comparing it to being at three, which it was several months ago. I think it's a mixed bag. Uh, we have got properties, uh, a very low inventory of properties available to purchase, and there's still a demand out there, even though the interest have gone up. Mm -hmm. uh, you're beginning to see uh, move back to what I would refer to as a normal market where buyers are asking the sellers to participate in their closing costs and sellers are starting to do that to, uh, to one degree or another. And so we have a ton of growth here. We have a ton of people moving in and out, military going in and out, and lots of phenomenal things that I can address later that um, of why Hampton Roads is is going to continue to grow and continue to do well but uh, I'm very very excited and we're not going to fall off any kind of a cliff and even other markets that have doubled and tripled over the last few years they may have some significant decline in values but we've only gone up about 30 percent maybe 35 percent in the last 15 years think about it just the beginning of what will be multiple episodes featuring leaders in the Hampton Roads Real Estate Collective. Don't miss out on receiving information not from an obscure publication or from an analyst who's never worked in our area. Tune in to get real relevant insight as you plan for your 2023 real estate buying and selling plan. This has been The Sneaker Agent. Until next time.